What's up, folks? It's your boy Bob Hollywood back with another exciting review. I can't believe I've gone over a month without reviewing an angel figure, and I still have more angel figures to review. But, uh, yeah, today's figure is going to be of this Tower Records Waiting in the Wings Wesley uh, from the series Angel. And again, Wesley is probably my least, excuse me, my least favorite character from the actual Angel series. He just gets progressively more annoying in my eyes. Um, not in a bad way, just his character. It's it's the way he's written. So I think Alexis Denisov does a great job in doing his job. It just... I don't know, man. He's just, I just don't like Wesley that much. I mean, the first two seasons, well, yeah, the first season when he shows up, I think he's cool. And then it just gets worse and worse and worse. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, he's in this bubble packaging. This is from Diamond Select, the year of 20, excuse me, 2005. So, yeah. And again, get some cross promotion on the back. We have all three of these Lorns. We have Nun Judgment Lorn. And we have, I believe it was season, f no, it was Rain of Fire Wesley. And um, yeah, so Waiting in the Wings of Rain of Fire Wesley. Chances are, with those two, I may never need a Wesley again. I don't know. I mean, it depends on the figure. I didn't dislike Wesley. And you see he's in a more formal suit. So, yeah. I'm going to bust him out of that plastic prison so we can get a better look at that formal suit. BRB. Oh, I'm back. These figures are always hard to get up because they have the little twist ties and tape and this little plastic thing that was, you know, keeping the sword in his hand, which, you know, is dead now. That that stuff and stuck on his hand it's it's annoying but the figures are usually well protected this sword because of the way they had it in the plastic isn't warped it's a fencing sword and they, they come with so many accessories that's one of the favorite part about like the buffy and angel figures they just come with so many great accessories and if you want to, you know, make your action figure world look lived in and real, you need those accessories. Not everybody is going to walk around with a gun. Not everybody is going to, you know, have superpowers. You can see it goes into his right hand, no problem. Let's see if it'll fit into his left hand. Also fits into his left hand. It's even better in his left hand. I mean, the grip in his left hand is tighter. But this is just, I want to say, a silver piece of plastic with some black. If the black itself, they might be two separate pieces. And then this was black and it has some silver paint on it. I believe these are two separate pieces. Yeah, it's just a fencing sword. I'm going to put that over there. Next accessory is going to be of this Orpheum Circuit program. Again, I am not super familiar with everything from the show. I enjoy the show. I believe me watching the show kicked off me purchasing these figures that you've seen in the last few months and the ones you're going to see coming up soon. At least of the uh, angel figures. I mean, I don't know what else I'll buy, but I did that. What's in the box? You saw that. So those figures came from me wanting, from watching the movie on Disney Plus. And yeah, in your action figure world, someone could just be looking at this. It could be a book. It could be a magazine. It all depends. I can tell you that it is too thin to fit in either of his hands, so I'm not even going to try. And so you did not see these glasses in the package. That's because these they were inside of here. They're glasses. They're sunglasses. They're just regular glasses, like reading glasses. Let's see if he can wear them. I don't even know if they're for him. They're not trying to go on his face. 
Yeah, they're just not going to work. But yeah, they're, they are silver plastic. Or they probably were clear plastic the whole way around. So, you know, it could be clear for the glass, just for the eyes, the lens. And then they painted everything else to silver. Again, they don't go on Wesley. But anyone else can wear them. I mean, I was noticing he has a little smudge. And I might be making it worse. I think I'm making it worse on his cheek. And then he has this little amulet. It looks like this could have been a, a medal awarded to a soldier or something. But, you know, with this being a magical world, this probably counteracts demons or something or summons them. And this is a dark gray or black piece of plastic with that red painted on there. The back is just a dark gray. Uh, two different shades of dark gray, so it's entirely possible that the front's painted black, which would have been weird. I guess they figured that would be easier than painting the red on the black. Then we have this storage case that came with the other Wesley as well. Maybe slight differences. Might be the exact same. I don't recall. And it has some hooks in there. <coughs> some loops. Essentially, you could put weapons in there. The bottom looks like there is stakes in there. And again, that's just going to be a background sort of thing. Let's see if we put the sword in there. You can put the sword in there. I don't think it goes like that because it bends it. But I also don't think you would store a sword like that. That seems a little reckless. It might be a little bit better. Yeah, but if it had shelves, you could put more things on it. It just has hooks. I wish maybe these hooks were higher up. Because what 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 go what would go on this hook? You know what I mean? And again, that's just brown plastic. This one still has like the visible tape thing, but I think the other one came out worse. That part I didn't even worry about getting the tape off because it's the back of it. And it is what it is. That's just a cool accessory. And all right, for the man of the hour, Wesley, who has been waiting in the wings this entire time. He is, again, in a black formal suit with a bow tie. And this suit part, this torso part, is a separate piece of softer plastic. And I'm curious as if, yeah, the whole shirt is sculpted. And this little design down the front is on the whole shirt. So they didn't skimp out with that. I'm going to take a break for a second and apply some heat just so I can see what's really going on with his articulation. I know he's going to be stiff. BRB. Oh, I feel like that. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. The world of difference. Look at his head. Look at his head. World of difference. He's an action figure, folks. I mean, there's, certain things are limited. His articulation is still going to be limited, but his head, his, you saw it was just like that. Oh, he can look up. Oh, great. I have an action figure, folks. I'm not going to press my luck with those, with those, uh, legs there but anyway we're not looking at that i mean it's not much to look at when it comes to his actual sculpt and it's just solid black everywhere and where it's not black it's a blemish you know but solid black other than his t-shirt other than his flesh and you know his head and everything has different shades like brown hair it looks like blue eyes Again, I got this marking here on his face. Just the plastic they use. It's very easy to scratch. Yeah, he's just a normal looking guy. He's brown hair. Brown hair, white flesh. Brown hair, white flesh man. That is the name of this action hero. But yeah, you can see I got that range of motion. It's very happy for me. So let's go over his range of motion and his articulation again. The basic figure is very bland. His head starts there, can go down, can come back up, doesn't go back much or at all really. Rotates, tilts, sh 
shoulders, rotate at the shoulder, bicep cut, weird bicep cut, single jointed elbow that's not going to give you really any range of motion. He can raise his hand in class, that's all. And I'm just trying to delete this gap. As you can see, there's a gap there. Uh, rotate. Damn, did that just happen? I don't know. But another blemish. Rotates at the wrist. I didn't have any trouble with this one earlier because I was trying to get that plastic stuff off of there. And it's like in there. And if I get it out, I'll probably scratch the plastic. Well, with that being... With this being molded in that flesh color, it shouldn't be an issue. There we go. Might be still some in there, but if, you, if it's in there that far, I can't see it anyway. Um, there feels like there's something going on at the waist, but because I can't see, I don't want to take that chance. But I do believe there's articulation at the waist that will allow him to rotate. Um, just like with almost all of the angel figures, these legs are absolutely useless. There is articulation there. It would probably snap even though I applied heat. Single jointed elbow, which allows him to, you know, kick his foot up in happiness. Just that far. Uh, and there is a boot cut. Which obviously would break up the sculpt of the pants. But it is what it is. And there is no other articulation. And there are holes in his feet. And there are threads. I mean treads there. So you got to bend his knees slightly to get him to like really stand. Yeah, so Wesley, your articulation sucks. But we knew that. No one's buying Diamond Select Angel figures because they just think they're going to be the most articulated. They're buying them because they like the figures, the series, you know. And I like him well enough. He has He's going to have a use in Holly World. He is exactly six and a half inches. And that's a lie we've all told someone before. All right, let's compare him to First John Jones and... Lucio. He is taller than both of these gentlemen. He is paler than both of these gentlemen. Lando. And Devin. Same thing, taller than both, paler than both. Man, that Devin's getting loose and looser, looser and looser. And let's bring him in. Let's bring in Titus, who's gonna be taller. Roadblock, who is gonna be just slightly taller. We have Eric Killmonger and Winston Zedmore. He is taller than both of them. Tall man. Whoops. Then let's bring in Vixen and Andra. But I put down Andra first just in case you're not familiar with the characters. Andra and Vixen. He is taller than both of them. So, yeah, he's taller than 80% of the review crew. Thanks, Wesley, for allowing us to review you. All right, folks. Just like always, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you stuck around. If you're having a good day, why don't you say so? I hope you're having a great day. And many more great days. I hope you're working through whatever issues that may be troubling you. And just know that you are appreciated, you are loved, you're respected. Action figures speak louder than words.